back to the way it used to be, mm -hmm. right? Okay, meantime, if you tried to get food to go, maybe this weekend, maybe earlier today, you may have noticed a lot of businesses and restaurants were closed. And so that means a lot of streets in the cities and towns in our area, you know, they haven't been this empty since really this pandemic started. It's like ghost towns all over. Yeah, my son is a firefighter. When they got off shift last night, they went to five different restaurants were closed, 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 closed. They finally found one that was open that could serve them. Uh, our Wayne Haverly discovered a uh, one business that's taken advantage of the situation, also helping folks stay cool. He joins us live from a very empty downtown Camas. Yeah, this uh, quaint little downtown, it's usually just absolutely bustling with activity down here, but that is not the case today. There are very few people on the street and the businesses here, as far as the restaurants and the shops, uh, they either closed early or they didn't even open today because of the extreme heat to protect the employees and the customers at that. But one place taking advantage of the situation that's actually doing pretty well, if you look right over here, the Liberty Theater, there's actually people in there, an afternoon matinee just started. And uh, while these downtown streets are quiet, many of these sweltering residents in Camas have been calling the Liberty Theater and making reservations for afternoon and evening shows. And perhaps no business has been hit harder by the pandemic than movie theaters. But a lot of good things are happening at this small town theater today. The owner, in fact, just a few hours ago, got approved for a federal grant that will keep the business out of debt. Plus, the extreme heat now has people returning to the movies. We're seeing an up, upbeat. I mean, obviously, for 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 people that want to go out, especially in the evening while their houses hopefully cool down, this is a chance they can spend, come spend two, two and a half hours in a movie theater. We've got four big HVAC units in this building. <laughs> that sounds pretty good about now. Nothing like a big HVAC system in heat wave like this. We ran into several people downtown searching for food, uh, just like what you were talking about, Dan, but they were not having much luck at all. So my guess is if you're in Camas, probably the best place for a little food might be the concession stand right here at the Liberty Theater, which is open, and they've got uh, several movies going tonight. Uh, also, I want to point out that there are uh, two cooling centers, one in Camas, one in Washougal. They're both near the libraries. Uh, they're for seniors who are uh, struggling in this heat. Uh, just a good idea to get inside wherever you are and just cool off if you can. Back to you.